you know, we're going to end with a pretty strong year for munis in 2014. How does 2015 look in your view in terms of potential outperformance? Uh, I think as you look at munis, we're, we will continue to outperform other fixed income investments. Uh, and I think we're going to do that because of our tax advantage, uh, the fact that the yields are very compelling. Even though it may be a tough year in general for fixed income, I think we will survive better. What are your expectations for when the Fed moves and how does that play into the muni market? I would think that the Fed is probably going to move, again, my opinion, uh, in the third quarter of the year as all the other economic indicators start to line up as Europe comes back. So that means that the muni investor who's been conservative is going to be faced with the opportunity of perhaps buying into more attractive munis as their existing holdings roll off and they can buy uh, at much more attractive rates. What area of the market do you like, first of all, in terms of duration? Right now, because we're being conservative, we keep our duration under three years or let's say three years as the end point. So we're short to the index, mm -hmm. but that's because we are being defensive. Uh, we like and favor, by and large, the best quality credits because with the low interest rate environment we're in, people have reached out for yield and obviously and very likely you know, a normal reaction, but that means that the lower tiered bonds tend to price up higher against the better quality bonds. So the best relative value right now we feel are the high quality bonds.